Hello, good morning. It's uh, it's Tuesday, the twenty sixth of July. Uh, it's a big shave from uh, with me, Steve Farragher, all the way from sunny Liverpool. We've had uh, reasonable weather the last couple of days. It actually, seems like it's summer again. Although, in, you know, in, uh, in in chronological terms, it's like the summer's probably nearly over. July. Summer seems to go really quick these days. When I was a child, summer used to seem to last for hours or weeks. Um, okay, so what are we doing today? After a recommendation from one of the viewers, one of the viewers of the big, uh, the big, uh, the big shave, uh, I've gone and bought something off uh, eBay, and uh, I'll show you what it is now. I'm just putting it back together again. This is uh, this is a recommendation from someone in, in America. Actually, it's a lord. Razor, if you look at it, it's, uh, it's quite a fancy looking razor actually. It was only worked out about 10 quid on eBay. Uh, it's nicely designed, it's got quite a heavy head on it. Uh, if you look at it, see it's quite weighty. The handle's a bit light, the handle's quite long. I'll go step back a little bit so you can see it. So there you go, this is a Lord. It's very similar, very similar to the Edwin Jagger, which paid about 25 quid for. So it's Value wise it's quite good. If you look at the heads as well, the heads are very similar. This is the Lord. This is the This is the Edwin Jagger. You can probably see that, you know, does the Jagger looks a little bit better. It's not as it's not as sort of uh you see the way that it's not cast very well. So I think they probably nicked. The person who who recommended this said it's uh it's based on a maker, so Need to get the original maker, I suppose, just to check it against each other. But it's a good shave. It's, um, I thought they were made in India, but they're actually made in Egypt. They checked on the on the label and they're made in Egypt. And you also it comes with a set of uh, Lord blades as well. So as an experiment today, and just to show that I listen to what people say on the uh, the big shave, I'm gonna I'm gonna test out the Lord razor uh, and. Uh, and a lot of blades as well. I've got to try different blades in it, but I'll try the blade. Sometimes these uh, these blades from from uh, India and uh, Pakistan and Turkey and that are quite good. But I've never had an Egyptian blade before. So so today's big shave is going to be courtesy of uh, it's going to be sponsored by the Lord. Hey, hallelujah. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Now. So we'll see. You know, this usual script really. You know, we're gonna. We're going to lather up with our uh, Arco. We had, I had another message as well from someone who uh, had been watching what we've been doing. This guy, who's, uh, I think he's in, I think he's in Britain. He's 19 and he bought 12 sticks of Arco. And I was expecting them to last about six months. And I basically told him he'll have uh, enough shaving cream till he's in his mid 20s, I think, because the old Arco lasts on average between three, six seven months. I usually throw my arco away because I'm fed up with it, not because it's uh, it's run out. Uh, so I think he was thinking it was like one of these cans and you know it was going to run out after a couple of weeks. Okay so we've lathered up with the old arco. Uh, this is the Lord Razor so let's see what's going to happen now. Okay so we're going to again, just to people who don't know what we're doing, we're following the growth. So you need to determine where your growth is. My growth goes down that way, grows out. So if I have a beard it grows up and then down that way and then the second shave is going to be across the growth and then the third shave is going to be against the growth so I'll just put a bit more lather max to try and out the only thing is that when the weather's better when the weather's you know drier the, the old cream dries a bit quicker so let's uh, let's just start off with it now then now then first First impressions of that is that's quite a decent, decent shave. Actually, the blade's quite good. I'm quite impressed with the blade. The razor's not not as heavy as a, as a like, but I'm I'm used to the I'm used to the uh, the maker future, which is uh, probably ruined <laughs> ruined what I think about other razors. And really, what we're looking at here, I think, with this Lord Lordy Lordy, is um, is a, is a razor for people who've never used a, a double blade razor before and want to graduate to it. And you remember last week we, we had to go with the uh, the classic 
which I, I, I rate highly. It's a bit light, but it's actually got a, a nice feel to it. Uh, as I keep saying in these 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 videos, don't press too hard. I've got a couple of nicks actually, which will probably open up. You can see, yeah, it's opened up. That's from yesterday, so I'm gonna need to be careful there. For some reason, when I don't video the shaves, I, I sometimes get a few nicks. Uh, okay, so let's lather up again. So, it was quite an impressive first pass. And then we're going to go for the second, which is going to be across the growth. Again, it's a nice long handle, so you can actually hold it with fingertips, which means you're not going to press very hard. Just do a little bit at a time. The thing that worries me a little bit is uh, when I take razors away, if I take my maker with me, if I ever lost my maker, I'd be devastated. So having a sort of standby razor like this, which you can take away, whether you're on holiday or for a weekend away or camping or something, seems like a good idea. You get these on eBay. Ooh, look at that. So, I think the reason I got these nicks as well yesterday, I've had the maker set at set, set, set 6 and when you put the maker on 6 you've got to take greater, greater attention than I was paying. Uh, okay, so I'll them, this is the last one. Uh, this time we're going to go down the jaw, down either side of the jaw, we're going to go across the chin, we're going to go up the face, so let's go down the jaw first. Again, not press very hard. I'm very impressed with the blade actually. I'm more impressed with the blade than the razor. So I think we'll probably use the Lord for the next couple of shaves. Or maybe try a couple of different blades in it. I was going to try the feather blade in this today. But, uh, but I thought rather than just dismissing the blade outright, I'd, uh, I'd give it a go. Up stuff on the neck. So how is everyone? I say Liverpool, the weather's vastly improved, but you know, the way things have been going this summer in Britain, this this could be a completely temporary temporary thing. By midday it could be pouring with rain. Usually what happens in Britain is we have a dry summer and then people, you know, we have a drought and everyone's complained there's no water and all the fruit and veg dies off because it's too dry or it's too wet and all the fruit and veg gets uh, ruined by the water so you can never win in Britain. I don't know if it's like the rest of the world but we're supposed to be global warming. I've yet to see Britain getting any warmer really. We seem to have our summer in May. Or a couple of weeks in May when it's really nice and then uh, June and July usually you never know what it's going to be like. Right okay so what else is happening in Britain? Uh, job. Job wise I'm still there. Still there, uh, still coping with it. Still can't really tell too much about it, but once it starts shaping up, I'll, I'll fill it in a little bit. Uh, relationships improving a little bit. I'm, I'm trying to re rekindle my relationship with the woman I was going out with for 10 years, and that seems to be progressing. And uh, we seem to be relating again, which is good. And. Uh, Oh, that's, that's quite an impressive shave that, that's quite an impressive shave, such a cheap thing. So that's the Lord, the Lord razor and it's, if, you, if you're going to go out, you've not, double, you've not shaved with a double blade razor before, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start singing his praises actually, this is, the guy who put me onto this said it was really good that he's not wrong, let's give me a really close shave. Well, I think what I'll do in the next couple of days with this is if I film any more of these, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a put a feather in it. I'll put a Wilkinson sword in it or a derby and see what it's like. But that is a uh, it's quite good. It's not clogged either. It's it washes out quite easily, which is good. And uh, 
It's quite a close shave. So you can't argue with that really. So uh, keep sending me comments because the comments are really important to think. You know, people are telling me what's happening and what they think and what they're doing and any advice then, you know, if I know the answer or think you know the answer, I'll, uh, I'll oblige. Just put that up a little bit so you can see what I'm saying. Uh, so not much to say really, it was just a quick shave. Um, I'm going to, one of these next couple of shaves, I'm just going to shave, I'm not going to talk, I'm just going to sort of show you like normally what I do in the morning if, if I'm not talking to you a lot and, uh, and see, not see how fast I can do it but see how efficiently I can do it and how little time it takes because I'm, I'm taking about 10 minutes here talking aren't I and uh, really I don't want people to think it takes 10 minutes to have a shave in the morning, it takes a lot less and it's always got to be worth putting that extra effort in, doing the three passes. Three passes are most important, probably more important than the implements that you use because in theory you could use a, a cheap disposable razor and do it three times, which sometimes I do, just for, just for variety. Okay, so uh, let's just finish off, might as well finish off, might I? That's the, that's the cologne, cologne sorted. Uh, moisturiser, a little bit of little blob of moisturiser to keep the skin back in good condition. Watch it some. I haven't got any aftershave here, that's in the bedroom, so I'll put that on in a minute. So there you go. I've got stuff on my glasses. So, thanks very much for watching the big shave. Oh, dear, I knew I was going to say something actually. Um, it's a year since I've started doing the big shaves, and, and the anniversary passed without me even noticing. I was looking back at some of the old videos and the uh, the original one was done on July the 10th last year, so it's a whole year gone past. The original videos had about 6,000 hits, which is really encouraging. And um, what else has happened? Uh, oh, it's my birthday tomorrow as well, so I'm, you know, I hope you all wish me happy birthday or whatever. I don't know. I might, I might do a, a shave tomorrow anyway because it is my birthday. I'll uh, put a candle on my head and light it or something like that, something to make it special. Or eat a cake or something. Okay, so that's uh, that's Tuesday, the 26th of July, uh, from me, Steve Farragan, Liverpool. And thanks for watching the big shave again. And uh, this has been sponsored by the Lord. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Okay, so goodbye.